This is a program to show you using the getCar function and a pointer to a character type of data how I can copy or input a data into an array. I have defined an array name of type character with 100. So let us say the character name array starts at address 100, zeroth location is at 1000, sorry, zeroth location is at 1000, first is at 1001, second is at 1002, third is at 1003, fourth is at 1004, and so on. Now what I have done is I have defined a pointer to a character type of data. So I have given PTR is equal to name. So PTR contains the address of the zeroth location of the array which happens to be 1000. Now what I am doing is I am asking the user to enter a line of text. So when the user is going to enter a line of text, let us say we just take a simple example. I am going to enter A, B, C. Okay, that's it because that's enough to understand this concept. So first, since I have put this in brackets, you can see this is the innermost bracket and this particular part is going to get executed first. So first we'll have a call to get care. So let us say I enter capital A. So what get care does is the prototype of get care indicates that get character is going to return an integer type of data. So if I enter capital A, the ASCII value of capital A is 65. So 65 is going to be returned by get care. So I is going to be 65. Now A or capital A is going to be compared with backslash n. It is not equal to backslash n. So what is going to happen next is PTR is referring to 1000. So at that particular star indicates at that particular location not the address. We are going at that location capital A is entered. Now I should increase PTR by 1 so that I go to the next location. Now PTR is increased by 1. So PTR has come right now here. Before I get into that, I need to do a little bit explanation of some very important concept. When getCare returns an integer type, this assignment operator takes that capital A ASCII value and assigns it to I. Assignment being an operator in C, operator's evaluation result in some value being generated. So assignment generates a value 65 which is compared with backslash n. So since 65 and backslash n the ASCII values are different they are not going to be equal to each other. So I am going to come here and add A here. Now let's see I enter the next character as capital B. So capital B ASCII value is 66. So I now becomes 66. The assignment returns 66. 66 ASCII value is compared with ASCII value of backslash n. It is not the same. So PTR1 is PTR sorry PTR is right now here. So capital B is copied here. Then PTR is increased. PTR comes here. Now what I am doing is I am reading the next character. Let's say my next character is capital C. When I am reading C, the ASCII value of C is capital C is 66. 66 means what I is 66. Assignment operator returns the value 66. 66 is definitely not equal to ASCII value of new line. So C is entered here. Now this particular process will keep on continuing till I enter data or till I enter some content. Now let us say I press the enter key. Get care is going to capture the or return the ASCII value of enter key. That is going to be assigned to I. The ASCII value of I now is the same as this new line character. So this while loop fails. So once I come here, assume I am at this particular position. It is my job to insert a null character because in this step I have bought PTR++ here. Once I enter, insert the null character and I go ahead and print, name is going to print ABC without the null character on the output. Please take a look at the demo which follows this particular video session.